Good everyone, you're watching Radio Fixes. In this video, I'm going to talk about how to restore Windows Power option or how to fix if your only balanced power plan is available in your window. Computers have different power states and these power states are classified as S0, S1, S2 and S3 etc. The S0 low power idle state is called modern standby power mode. In this state, systems can switch from a low power state to a high power state very quickly. Computer systems that supports the S0 modern standby mode do not use the power mode S1 to S3. Hence, due to this, only the balanced power plan is available in the control panel. Now to fix this issue, you will have to go ahead and disable the modern standby mode S0. Now the first thing what you can do is you can check what type of power plan is enabled on your computer. Now to do this, you will have to open command prompt on your computer. So in this, in the search window, you may go ahead and type CMD. Once you have the best match for command prompt, you can do a right click and then do a run as administrator. In case if you get a user access control prompt, you may click on yes or continue on the screen. Once you have the command prompt open, you will have to go ahead and type the command power cfg space forward slash a. I will also mention this command in the video description. You can copy and paste it here. Once you have this command, hit enter. Now under the standby state, you would see power state here. In my case, S3 power state is being enabled, but in case if you don't have the balanced power plan available in your windows, it is highly possible that you have S0 power state enabled on your computer. So if you have a S0 power state, what you will have to do is you will have to close the command prompt on your computer and you will have to first thing you will have to go ahead and disable the S0 power state. To do this, you will have to make some registry changes. So you will have to open the registry editor. You can do a right click on the start button and then click on run. In the run window, you may go ahead and type reg edit and then click on OK. In case if you get a user access control prompt, you may click on yes or continue on the screen. Now, while you're making registry changes, please make sure you follow the steps correctly. In case if you make any incorrect registry changes, there are chances that your computer might go to a no boot mode at, or it may not function properly. So please follow the steps carefully. So once you have the registry editor open, make sure it has been in a collapse state. If it has been expanded, you may go ahead and click on the collapse option by clicking on this use option, on the triangle. Once you are on this registry structure you will have to navigate to HK local machine by clicking on this and then once you're on the HK local machine you will have to locate for system expand system under system you will have to locate for current control set expand current control set and then expand control and here you will have to go ahead and locate for power registry key once you have selected the power registry key you will have to go ahead and create a new d word 32 bit value so in the empty space on the right hand side, check if you have platform AOAC override. In case if you don't have that value, you will have to go ahead and create it. So you can do a right click and then click on new and choose the option which says D word 32 bit value and go ahead and type the name as platform AOAC override and hit enter. Once you have created this registry entry, make sure the value has been set to zero. To do this, you will have to do a right click and then click on modify and make sure the value is being set to zero. Now, in case if you have the value zero means that the power state S0 mode is being disabled. If it is one, it means that power S0 state is enabled. So make sure it is zero. Once this is done, you may go ahead and close the registry editor and then restart your computer. Once you restart your computer, you will have to open command prompt. You can click on the search and in the search, you may go ahead and type CMD, run as administrator, do a right click on command prompt, run as administrator. When you get a user access control prompt, you may click on yes or continue on the screen. Now to enable 
power saver plan on your computer you will have to go ahead and copy the command i will mention this command in the video description and paste it here by doing a right click on the command prompt and you should have this and hit enter once this is done your power saver plan should be available in your computer so this is how you can go ahead and restore your windows power option in your windows machine now in spite of trying all this step and if you're still not able to see the uh, power saver option i would suggest you to leave me a comment in the comment section so that i can come up with the possible solution i hope this video was useful in case if you like this video please make sure to hit the like button and do not forget to subscribe to my channel thank you have a great day